Have you ever watched a NASCAR race on TV and just wish you were out there racing? Well, if you have, then put on your helmet and your driving gloves. Jonathan Mum sends us this week's California postcard from the All-American Speedway in Roseville. The guy who invented it calls it spectator racing. But once you're out there on the track, you aren't a spectator anymore. Unless you spin out, of course. Oh, it's the real thing. There's no doubt about that. Yet, first timers show up, get the basics. How we drive the track. Full throttle down the straightaway. As you get close to the corner, you're going to smoothly roll off the throttle. Take a car out for 10 laps of practice, qualify for position. In front of 3,000 people and actually race in a race against other people for trophies, just like they do on TV on NASCAR. And all that on the same night. Some drivers don't even plan on it. They just have a birthday and their wives or girlfriends have a gift coming they've managed to keep a secret. Now, was this a surprise tonight? Yeah, it was. So you didn't know coming to the track, you no, didn't know that you were going to be on the track? No, not until I got here. Here we go. I knew I was doing it, but it's one thing to think about it at home. It's another to find yourself in a fire suit and helmet strapped into a race car with the engine shaking the car frame. It's at this point that I ask myself, what the heck am I doing in here? But then, everybody has their own way of handling those moments just before pulling onto the track. Uh, just relaxing, trying to stay as relaxed as I can. I think I'm ready to get him this time. I'm not shaking yet. Come see me after the race, these hands will be shaking. In car number 88, why does that number sound familiar? I head out to practice. Oops, don't run over the cameraman. And all of a sudden, out there on the track, cars all around you, trying to see how deep you can go into the corner before hitting the brake, the nervousness is gone. All right, it feels great out there. It was lots of fun, but I gotta get faster. Everybody's going by me. Hey, Jonathan, I'm just here to remind you that the gas pedal is the long, tall one on the right-hand side. It takes a couple races to get used to it, but once you get behind that wheel and, and start racing, it's, it's like drugs. It's addicting. <laughs> <laughs> but it is racing, and things can happen out there. Driver Larry Stauffer lost a wheel in our race. Norm Yoon spun out. Mike Fuentes and Rob Gaines traded paint, as they say. Trail racing, anything can happen in a motorsports. We've gone through 33,000 drivers over the last 11 years have, and have not had any injuries. We want to keep it that way. The cars, Greg's own design, are built to safer specifications than even NASCAR builds them. A 2,000-pound car with a four-cylinder engine that hits 90 on the straights. Was it a good birthday present? No, oh, man, it's a blast. I'm loving every minute of it. No, I didn't win, but I managed to pass a few people and finish in the top ten. And no, there weren't only ten cars. In Roseville, Jonathan Mum, News 10. <laughs> hey, and here's the man. Now, let me tell you about this. There's an epilogue to the story because Jonathan finished seventh in that race, but the following week, Rodney Speed here, one of our News 10 photographer editors, went out, drove the same car, and look at that. The man came home with a trophy. Oh, for, he, good for third Rodney place. Said. Rodney lives life a little more on the edge than, than most of us, I think, and so that was probably his advantage. For most of us, uh, for more information on spectator racing and other California postcards, log on to news10.net. Look for the life tab at the top of the page. Well, you know Rodney's last name is Speed. Is Speed, oh, yeah. so that's a uh, speed racer. Yeah. There you go. <laughs>